Population transfer in the Soviet Union refers to forced transfer of various groups from the 1930s up to the 1950s ordered by Joseph Stalin and may be classified into the following broad categories, deportations of anti-Soviet categories of population often classified as enemies of workers, deportations of entire nationalities, labor force transfer, and organized migrations in opposite directions to fill the ethnically cleansed territories. In most cases, their destinations were underpopulated remote areas see forced settlements in the Soviet Union. This includes deportations to the Soviet Union of non-Soviet citizens from countries outside the USSR. It has been estimated that, in their entirety, internal forced migrations affected at least 6 million people. Of this total, 1.8 million kulaks were deported in 1930-31, 1.0 million peasants and ethnic minorities in 1932-39, whereas about 3.5 million ethnic minorities were further resettled during 1940-52, some 1 to 1.5 million perished as a result of the deportations. Of those deaths, the deportation of Crimean Tatars and the deportation of Chechens were recognized as genocides by Ukraine and the European Parliament respectively. Topic. Deportation of social groups Kulaks were a group of relatively affluent farmers and had gone by this class system term in the later Russian Empire, Soviet Russia, and early Soviet Union. They were the most numerous group deported by the Soviet Union. Resettlement of people officially designated as kulaks continued until early 1950, including several major waves. Large numbers of kulaks, regardless of their nationality, were resettled to Siberia and Central Asia. According to data from Soviet archives, which were published in 1990, 1,803,392 people were sent to labor colonies and camps in 1930 and 1931, and 1,317,022 reached the destination. Deportations on a smaller scale continued after 1931. The reported number of kulaks and their relatives who had died in labor colonies from 1932 to 1940 was 389,521. It is estimated that 15 million kulaks and their families were deported by 1937. During the deportation many people died, but the full number is not known. Topic: <laughs> Ethnic operations. During the 1930s, categorization of so-called enemies of the people shifted from the usual Marxist-Leninist, class-based terms, such as kulak, to ethnic-based ones. The partial removal of potentially trouble-making ethnic groups was a technique used consistently by Joseph Stalin during his government. Between 1935 and 1938 alone, at least nine different nationalities were deported. Germany's invasion of the Soviet Union led to a massive escalation in Soviet ethnic cleansing. The deportation of Koreans in the Soviet Union, originally conceived in 1926, initiated in 1930, and carried through in 1937, was the first mass transfer of an entire nationality in the Soviet Union. Almost the entire Soviet population of ethnic Koreans 171,781 persons were forcefully moved from the Russian Far East to unpopulated areas of the Kazakh SSR and the Uzbek SSR in October 1937. Looking at the entire period of Stalin's rule, one can list, Poles 1939-1941 and 1944-1945, Romanians 1941 and 1944-1953, Lithuanians, Latvians, Estonians, 1941 and 1945 to 1949; Volga Germans, 1941 to 1945; Ingrian Finns, 1929 to 1931 and 1935 to 1939; Finnish people in Karelia, 1940 1941, 1944; Crimean Tatars, Crimean Greeks, 1944, and Caucasus Greeks, 1949-50; Kalmyks, Balkars, Karachays, Meskhetian Turks, Karapapak. Far East Koreans 1937, Chechens and Ingushs 1944. Shortly before, during and immediately after World War II, Stalin conducted a series of deportations on a huge scale which profoundly affected the ethnic map of the Soviet Union. It is estimated that between 1941 and 1949 nearly 3.3 million were deported to Siberia and the Central Asian republics. 
By some estimates, up to 43% of the resettled population died of diseases and malnutrition. The deportations started with Poles from Byelorussia, Ukraine, and European Russia see Polish minority in Soviet Union between 1932 and 1936. Koreans in the Russian Far East were deported in 1937. See Deportation of Koreans in the Soviet Union. Western annexations and deportations, 1939–1941 After the Soviet invasion of Poland following the corresponding German invasion that marked the start of World War II in 1939, the Soviet Union annexed eastern parts known as Kresy to the Polish of the Second Polish Republic. During 1939–1941, 1.45 million people inhabiting the region were deported by the Soviet regime, of whom 63.1% were Poles and 7.4% were Jews. Previously it was believed that about 1.0 million Polish citizens died at the hands of the Soviets, but recently Polish historians, based mostly on queries in Soviet archives, estimate the number of deaths at about 350,000 people deported in 1939–1945. From the newly conquered eastern Poland, 1.5 million people were deported. The same followed in the Baltic republics of Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia see Soviet deportations from Estonia and Soviet deportations from Lithuania. More than 200,000 people are estimated to have been deported from the Baltic in 1940–1953. In addition, at least 75,000 were sent to the Gulag, 10% of the entire adult Baltic population was deported or sent to labor camps. In 1989, native Latvians represented only 52% of the population of their own country. In Estonia, the figure was 62%. In Lithuania, the situation was better because the migrants sent to that country actually moved to the former area of eastern Prussia now Kaliningrad which, contrary to the original plans, never became part of Lithuania. Likewise, Romanians from Chernivtsi Oblast and Moldovia had been deported in great numbers which range from 200,000 to 400,000, see Soviet deportations from Bessarabia. Topic. World War II, 1941–1945 During World War II, particularly in 1943–44, the Soviet government conducted a series of deportations. Some 1.9 million people were deported to Siberia and the Central Asian republics. Treasonous collaboration with the invading Germans and anti-Soviet rebellion were the official reasons for these deportations. Out of approximately 183,000 Crimean Tatars, 20,000 or 10% of the entire population served in German battalions. Consequently, Tatars too were transferred en masse by the Soviets after the war. Volga Germans and seven non -Slavic nationalities of the Crimea and the Northern Caucasus were deported. The Crimean Tatars, Kalmyks, Chechens, Ingush, Balkars, Karachays, and Meskhetian Turks. All Crimean Tatars were deported en masse, in a form of collective punishment, on 18 May 1944 as special settlers to Uzbekistan and other distant parts of the Soviet Union. According to NKVD data, nearly 20% died in exile during the following year and a half. Crimean Tatar activists have reported this figure to be nearly 46%. See Deportation of Crimean Tatars. Other minorities evicted from the Black Sea coastal region included Bulgarians, Crimean Greeks, Romanians and Armenians. Post-war expulsion and deportation After World War II, the German population of the Kaliningrad Oblast, former East Prussia was expelled and the depopulated area resettled by Soviet citizens, mainly by Russians. Poland and Soviet Ukraine conducted population exchanges. Poles who resided east of the established Poland Soviet border were deported to Poland, ca. 2,100,000 persons, and Ukrainians that resided west of the established Poland Soviet Union border were deported to Soviet Ukraine. Population transfer to Soviet Ukraine occurred from September 1944 to April 1946, ca. 450,000 persons. Some Ukrainians ca. 200,000 persons left southeast Poland more or less voluntarily between 1944 and 1945. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Post-Stalin policy on deportation. 
In February 1956, Nikita Khrushchev in his speech on the personality cult and its consequences condemned the deportations as a violation of Leninist principles, asserting as a joke that the Ukrainians avoided such a fate, "...only because there were too many of them and there was no place to which to deport them." His government reversed most of Stalin's deportations. This did not include the Crimean Tatars, Meskhetian Turks and Volga Germans, however. They were only allowed to return en masse to their homelands after 1991. The deportations had a profound effect on the non Russian peoples of the Soviet Union and they are still a major political issue. The memory of the deportations played a major part in the separatist movements in Chechnya and the Baltic republics. Some peoples were deported after Stalin's death. In 1959, Chechen returnees were supplanted from the mountains to the Chechen plain. The mountain peoples of Tajikistan, such as the Yagnobi people, were forcibly settled to the desert plains in the 1970s. According to a secret Soviet Ministry of Interior report dated December 1965, for the period 1940 1953, 46,000 people were deported from Moldova, 61,000 from Belarus, 571,000 from Ukraine, 119,000 from Lithuania, 53,000 from Latvia, and 33,000 from Estonia. <laughs> Labor force transfer Punitive transfers of population transfers handled by the Gulag and the system of forced settlements in the Soviet Union were planned in accordance with the needs of the colonization of the remote and underpopulated territories of the Soviet Union. Their large scale has led to a controversial opinion in the West that the economic growth of the Soviet Union was largely based on the slave labor of Gulag prisoners. At the same time, on a number of occasions the workforce was transferred by nonviolent means, usually by means of recruitment. Verbovka. This kind of recruitment was regularly performed at forced settlements, where people were naturally more willing to resettle. For example, the workforce of the Don Basin Kuzbas mining basins is known to have been replenished in this way. As a note of historical comparison, in Imperial Russia the mining workers at state mines Burgles, Burgali, from German Bergbau, mining, were often recruited in lieu of military service which, for a certain period, had a term of 25 years. There were several notable campaigns of targeted workforce transfer. 25,000ers NKVD labor columns Virgin Lands campaign Baku oil industry workers transfer during the German Soviet war in October 1942 about 10,000 workers from the petroleum sites of Baku together with their families were transferred to several sites with potential oil production the second Baku Area Volga Ural oil field, Kazakhstan and Sakhalin, in face of the potential German threat, although Germany failed to seize Baku. Topic: <repatriation>, Repatriation after World War II. When the war ended in May 1945, millions of Soviet citizens were forcefully repatriated against their will into the USSR. On the 11th of February 1945, at the conclusion of the Yalta Conference, the United States and United Kingdom signed a repatriation agreement with the USSR. The interpretation of this agreement resulted in the forcible repatriation of all Soviets regardless of their wishes. British and US Civilian authorities ordered their military forces in Europe to deport to the Soviet Union millions of former residents of the USSR some of whom collaborated with the Germans, including numerous persons who had left Russia and established different citizenship many years before. The forced repatriation operations took place from 1945 to 1947. At the end of World War II, more than 5 million displaced persons from the Soviet Union survived in German captivity. About 3 million had been forced laborers in Germany and occupied territories, surviving POWs, about 1.5 million, repatriated Ostarbeiter, and other displaced persons, totally more than 4 million people were sent to special NKVD filtration camps not Gulag. By 1946, 80% civilians and 20% of POWs were freed, 5% of civilians, and 43% of POWs redrafted, 10% of civilians and 22% of POWs were sent to labor battalions, and 2% of civilians and 15% of the POWs 226,127 out of 1,539,475 total transferred to the NKVD, i.e. the Gulag. 
Topic Modern views Many historians consider these mass deportations of civilians a crime against humanity. Terry Martin of Harvard University observes, Topic Death toll The number of deaths attributed to deported people living in exile is considerable. The causes for such demographic catastrophe lie in harsh climates of Siberia and Kazakhstan, disease, malnutrition, work exploitation which lasted for up to 10 hours daily as well as any kind of appropriate housing or accommodation for the deported people. Topic timeline topic See also topic Notes topic Bibliography Council of Europe the 19th of March 2007 Documents, Working Papers, 2006 Ordinary Session, Third Part, 26 to 30 June 2006, Volume 4, Documents 10868, 10886, 10893, 10903, 10950, p. 158. ISBN 9789287166 Topic External Links Topic Notes Topic Ali Historical Dictionary of the Chechen Conflict. Roman and Littlefield. p. 12. ISBN 9781442248. Topic Notes Topic External Links Topic Notes Topic Baron, Emily B. 2016. Descent on the Margins, How Soviet Jehovah's Witnesses Defied Communism and Lived to Preach About It Repeated ed., Oxford University Press. ISBN 0190495499. Buckley, Cynthia J., Rubel, Blair A., Hoffman, Aaron Trout 2008. Migration, Homeland, and Belonging in Eurasia. Woodrow Wilson Center Press. p. 207. ISBN 0801890756. LCCN 2008-015571. Bugay, Nikolai The Deportation of Peoples in the Soviet Union. Nova Publishers. ISBN 1560723718. Dundevich, Elena, Gori, Francesca, Gorsetti, Emanuela Reflections on the Gulag, with a documentary index on the Italian victims of repression in the USSR 37 ed. Greenwood Publishing Group. ISBN 8807990586. x Elman, Michael 2002. Soviet Repression Statistics, Some Comments PDF. Europe-Asia Studies. 54 7, 1151-1172. Doi 10.1080.0966813022000017177. JSTOR 826310. Frucht, Richard C. 2004. Eastern Europe: An Introduction to the People, Lands, and Culture. 2. ABC Clio. P. 28. ISBN 1576078000. Griffin, Nicholas 2004. Caucasus, A Journey to the Land Between Christianity and Islam. Chicago, University of Chicago Press. ISBN 9780226308375. Hoffman, Michael 2007. Social Identity and Conflict, Structures, Dynamics, and Implications. Springer. p. 9. ISBN 9780230605671. Martin, Terry. 1998. The Origins of Soviet Ethnic Cleansing. PDF. The Journal of Modern History. 74, 813-861. Doi 235168 JSTOR 235168 Maudsley, Evan. 1998. The Stalin Years: The Soviet Union, 1929 to 1953. Manchester University Press. ISBN 9780719046001. Doi 2,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
p. 803. ISBN 9780816072293. OCLC 58431770. Petai, Eva Clarita, Petai, Velo 2014. Transitional and Retrospective Justice in the Baltic States. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 1107049490. LCC 2014 0437294. Pohl, J. Otto. Ethnic Cleansing in the USSR, 1937 1949. Westport, C.T., Greenwood Press. ISBN 978-0-313-30921-2. LCCN 98-046822. Pohl, J. Otto. 2000. Stalin's Genocide Against the Repressed Peoples. 2 2, 267 293. Doi 10.1080/713677598. Polian, Pavel. 2004. Against Their Will: The History and Geography of Forced Migrations in the USSR. Budapest: Central European University Press. ISBN 9789639241688. Ryken, Michael. 1994. Moscow's Lost Empire. Routledge. ISBN 9781315287294. Pohl, J. Otto. 1992. Rosemary Thorpe, ed. Politics and Nationality in Contemporary Soviet Jewish Emigration, 1968-89. Springer. ISBN 1349097.56 X. Sanford, George. 2007. Caton and the Soviet Massacre of 1940: Truth, Justice, and Memory. Routledge. ISBN 9781134302. Pohl, J. Otto. 2004. Viola, Lynn. 2007. The Unknown Gulag, The Lost World of Stalin's Special Settlements. Oxford University Press. p. 32. ISBN 9780195187694. Williams, Brian Glynn. The Crimean Tatars, From Soviet Genocide to Putin's Conquest. London, New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 9780190494962. Pohl, J. Otto. 2014. Pohl, J. Otto. 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 Pohl, J. 28 Avgusta 1941 G. Yukas Presidium of Verhovnogo Soviet Assessor. O Vyselinii Nemchev is Rajanov Pavolza. 1943 G. Yukas Presidium of Verhovnogo Soviet Assessor. O Likvidasii Kalmikaj Asser i Obrazovani Astrahanskaj Oblasti v Sostave RSFSR. Asterisk Postanovlini Pravatilstv Assessor Ot 12 Anvara 1949 G. O Vyselini I S Territorii Litvi Latvi I Estoni Kulikov S Samami Samej Banditov I Nationalistov Nahodisisa Na Nelegalnam Polazini Ubiti Pri Vorazini Stolnovinia I Osuzni Legalizavani Banditov Prodolzausi Vesti Vrzescu Rabatu I E Samej A Taxi Samej Repressorovani Pozabnikov I Banditov Yukas Presidium of Verhovnogo Soviet Assessor Ot 13 Dekabra 1955 G O snaichi i ogranisenij v pravovam polizini s nemchev i klenev isamej nahodasisa na spekpasalini i. 
17 Marta 1956 G. Yukas Presidium of Verhovnogo Soviet Assessor. O snechi i ogranisenij v pravovam polizini s kalmikov i klenov i samej na hodisisa na spekpasalini 1956 g. Postanovlini seek capes. O vastanovlini i nationalnoj avtonomi kalmikogo karasivskogo balkarskogo sasenskogo i ingaskogo narodov. 29 Avgusta 1964 g. Yukas Presidium of Verhovnogo Soviet Assessor. O Vnesini i Ismenenij v Yukas Presidium of Verhovnogo Soviet Assessor o 28 Avgusta 1941 g. O Pereselini i Nemchev Prozavasa v Rajonapavl. 1991 g. Laws of Russian Federation. O Rehabilitasi i Repressorovani Narodov. O Rehabilitasi i Zertivi Politiski Repressage. Wikisource State Defense Committee Decree No. 5859 SS, on Crimean Tatars see also three answers to the Decree No. 5859 SS External links These names accuse Soviet deportations in Latvia Baltic Deportation Instructions — Full text, English Deportations Revelations from the Russian Archives at the Library of Congress Chechnya — European Parliament recognizes the genocide of the Chechen people in 1944 The scale and nature of German and Soviet repression and mass killings, 1930–45 Ediev Dm Demographiski Poteri Deportirovani Narodovza, Stavropol 2003 Polish deportees in the USSR list compiled in 1941 by Tadeusz Romer, the Polish ambassador to Japan.